the end of turn seven. And let's see what we got here. We've got the 41st Army still uh, as part of the, sorry, the 41st Corps as part of the 3rd Panzer Army. Still banging around there. Uh, the, their opponents, 30th Army, have retreated back to around Klin, primarily because of this. Right here we've had a couple of, uh, one breakthrough after another. Uh, it's, been, it's been very interesting, it's been very cool, but it sure has been nerve wracking for the Soviets as they try and uh, hold the line up in and around Moscow. Uh, this unit here has proved uh, difficult to get rid of. It's tough, even though it's isolated. Strength of six, and all my guys there are unsupported, so they're having a hard time wrapping that up. Over here, I've got a bunch of armor sitting in the woods, really not doing a whole lot, but they are managing to force the Soviets to retreat. Soviets are now uh, escalating their commitment and starting to bring out some of the units from Moscow to the outer edges of their uh, support. Uh, supported defensive lines, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. So this is, uh, this is becoming quite fluid. Over here, we picked up five victory points at the end of this turn, capturing this town. And that has left a, a gaping hole here, as you can see. Uh, it's a direct shot to the eastern reaches of Moscow. And I've already got some guys uh, well on the way, headed that way even though they are at a supply. Uh, hoping to keep stretching those defensive lines. Bunch of uh, units from the 4th Army just hanging out here trying to get organized after eliminating a few pieces and uh, reducing uh, some others and then forcing others to retreat. Earlier on, we'd said we were going to hang out here as the Soviets and try and block supply. That became untenable, and so we've started moving all those pieces back. So the defense has kind of spread out here. Uh, the big uh, development, I guess, is that Tula was captured, finally. However, uh, we don't get the VPs for it yet because we are completely out of supply. So I'm really not sure how to handle this, where every time I get a guy to move, another one pops in its place, so I'm not sure how we're going to handle keeping those VPs and achieving our victory objectives, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, more out of supplies guys uh, from the 24th Panzer Group, they are going to uh, just dilly, I was going to have them dilly dally until I could uh, bring the rest of these guys up, but I think now that we're in a tough situation uh, supply wise, we're going to have to bring those units back and, and clear out uh, a road and keep one road uh, secure, regardless. Uh, what do we got down here? 53rd, not being terribly effective and uh, mostly cut off and gonna be out of supply again this, this coming turn. Uh, they're all reinforcements that have come on in the last two turns here. So I think I'm playing this mostly correct. We made a few little mistakes with commitment and we made a few little errors here and there, but overall it's not been a significant impact on the game. So that's the that's the big picture. Uh, it's been it's becoming a more and more interesting game as we go along. Now, victory conditions. Let's talk about that. So there are three ways the Axis or German player can win. And depending on which one you choose and write down before the game. We, uh, we have different objectives, and whether that is uh, capturing Moscow, encircling Moscow, or pushing units off the board. Um, I, uh, I am gonna uh, have rolled the die for which objective, and I wanted to wait until the eighth or ninth turn just to play the game and, and see how things are going, and we've rolled the die the die really is more focused on the die result is uh, I'll tell you which objective it is here. Try and do this quickly. Yeah, there were three uh, historical plan, strategic encirclement plan, and the broad front plan. And I rolled, uh, you know, just split that across a d6, and I rolled a three. 
So we're on for a uh, strategic encirclement plan. Now, fortunately, when we look at this map, I think that's going to put us in a pretty good, pretty solid opportunity to get a, a, a victory, potentially, if not a substantial or decisive victory. Now, if I can move these forces through the woods rapidly and start either moving units off the board or uh, encircling Moscow entirely, uh, I got guys over here that can uh, push, and we've got another infantry and armor force here as well. So this could be a, this could be a fun fun game. And I wanted to not choose the victory condition and just <coughs> focus on victory points for the time being, cities and things, and trying to capture Moscow, and and then make a decision uh, once a random decision once we got it over a little ways into the game. So that's what's going on. Sorry for the long rambling message. Here we go. We're out.